The coffin lid was unsealed and ever so carefully lifted off. I'm very happy, I'm very proud of this discovery. In a groundbreaking archaeological revelation, researchers have cracked open the sealed coffin of an Egyptian mummy that has laid undisturbed for a shocking 2,500 years. Preserved for millennia, this coffin has surfaced as a mysterious artifact, surrounded by secrets that challenge time itself. As we delve into this extraordinary discovery, one can't help but wonder, what secrets had the pharaohs taken with them to the afterlife? Would this mummy's uncovering reveal the mysterious rites of a civilization that had once dominated the sands of the Nile? Join us as we delve into the incredible discoveries made when archaeologists opened a 2,500-year-old Egyptian mummy coffin, unearthing Egypt's enigmatic 2,500-year-old coffins. In 2020, archaeologists made a surprising find in Saqqara, Egypt. They uncovered a collection of well-preserved coffins that are around 2,500 years old. This is quite unusual, and the discovery is significant not only because of its historical implications, but also due to the sheer number of coffins, about 59 in total. Saqqara has been a burial ground for the ancient city of Memphis for a long time. The tourism and antiquities minister highlighted the importance of this discovery. Examining these coffins provides insights into what life in Egypt might have been like around 2,500 years ago. The period coincides with the rule of the 26th dynasty, lasting approximately from 664 to 332 BC. This time in Egypt's history was marked by political instability, foreign invasions, and economic challenges. Despite these difficulties, it was also a period of significant cultural and intellectual development. The 26th dynasty, a Greek ruling family, controlled Egypt during this era. Considering the discovered mummies existed during a time of political struggles and foreign influence, it gives us a glimpse into the challenges and cultural richness of ancient Egypt around 2,500 years ago. Despite the political unrest during the Toic period, Egypt experienced substantial economic growth. This era also saw a flourishing of Egyptian literature and art, with hieroglyphics still in use and the emergence of new writing forms like Demotic and Coptic. Artists created exquisite sculptures, paintings, and jewelry, reflecting the richness of this period. The recently discovered coffins, sealed for millennia without being opened, offer a fantastic glimpse into the past. However, the excitement doesn't end there. Two of these ancient sarcophagi have been opened for the first time since burial, revealing something shocking. During a makeshift exhibit at the well-known Steppe Pyramid of Djoser at Saqqara, archaeologists opened the coffins in front of a large audience. In a video covering the event, the archaeologists carefully revealed an ancient mummy, astonishingly well-preserved and wrapped in burial clothes adorned with colorful Egyptian hieroglyphic inscriptions. The excitement didn't stop with the mummy's unveiling. In the same event, on-the-spot scanning and x-ray sessions took place. The results confirmed the mummy's authenticity and provided insights into his identity. The mummy was identified as that of an ancient man who had died around 2,500 years ago at the age of 40 to 45, standing at 5 feet 4 and 57 in height. While the exact cause of his death remained unknown, scientists determined that he was in perfect health at the time of his demise. This event caught widespread attention as it was the first time an X-ray had been performed on an Egyptian sarcophagus in front of an audience. The excitement generated by this discovery led to further unveilings and investigations. Unveiling Saqqara's Royal Mummies During an October conference, Egyptian officials opened another coffin on stage, causing a stir among the audience. However, questions persisted about who these people were and how they were buried in the discovered shafts. Upon analyzing the mummy's ornaments and burial style, researchers deduced that these coffins belonged to ancient nobles. One mummy, publicly unveiled, 
was found buried with crossed arms, a symbol of royalty in Egyptian culture. The coffins were adorned with Egyptian hieroglyphs, showcasing the high social status of the deceased. Additionally, various Egyptian artifacts, including gilded statues and funerary masks, were discovered alongside the sealed coffins, providing further insights into the lives of the recovered individuals. This discovery excites archaeologists as it sheds light on ancient Egyptian civilization, offering a rare glimpse into their way of life. The finding is remarkable for revealing aspects of the ancient past of the Egyptian community. As for how this discovery occurred, Saqqara, where the coffins were found, has been a significant burial site for thousands of years. Roughly 30 kilometers southwest of Cairo, Saqqara is renowned for its pyramids, tombs, and temples. It has a rich history dating back to around 3100 BCE and has served as an active burial site throughout Egypt's long history. The Pyramid of Djoser, a masterpiece of ancient Egyptian architecture, is a notable landmark in Saqqara. Its stepped pyramid design is considered innovative and is believed to have influenced the construction of later true pyramids. The name Saqqara originates from the ancient Egyptian deity Ptah Sokar, associated with mummification and the afterlife, evident through a dedicated temple at the site. Saqqara's significance lies in its portrayal of ancient Egyptian civilization, offering insights into their beliefs, practices, and art. Recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1979, Saqqara, along with the Pyramids of Giza and the Memphis Necropolis, remains a crucial location for understanding Egypt's rich cultural history. The recent discovery of 59 coffins in Saqqara didn't happen all at once. Initially, 13 coffins were found three weeks after the announcement. The rest were discovered in shafts about 12 meters deep, stacked on top of each other. The Tourism and Antiquities Minister suggests that more coffins might still be unearthed at the site. The finding of well-preserved mummies in Egypt sheds light on the mysteries surrounding ancient Egyptian culture. Mustafa Waziri, the Secretary General of the Supreme Court of Antiquities, expressed joy, highlighting Egypt's historical marvels that have always fascinated the world. Egypt's ancient civilization, its advanced technology, magnificent structures, and enigmatic pyramids have been subjects of wonder and intrigue. Recent discoveries of well-preserved mummies in various shapes, sizes, and from different timelines have been substantial. Over the past two years, authorities have revealed the discovery of over 146 sealed sarcophagi in Saqqara alone. Earlier this year, the oldest well-preserved mummy, approximately 4,300 years old, was found near Saqqara's Steppe Pyramid, shocking the archaeological community. This mummy was found at the bottom of a 15-meter deep shaft during an archaeological expedition that explored tombs dating back to the 5th and 6th dynasties of the Egyptian Old Kingdom. Renowned archaeologist Zahi Hawass led this significant expedition. According to him, the mummy belonged to an ancient Egyptian man named Hakashi. This mummy, covered in gold leaf, was found in a limestone casket sealed in mortar showcasing the meticulous burial practices of ancient Egypt. But here is the most amazing aspect. Exploring Egypt's Afterlife Beliefs in Mummification The recent discoveries of well-preserved ancient sarcophagi include one belonging to an influential figure known as Kumpf. During the 5th dynasty, Kumpf served as an inspector of officials, supervisor of nobles, and a priest under Pharaoh Unas, the last ruler of that dynasty. Additionally, a mummy identified as the Keeper of the Secrets and assistant to a prominent palace leader was also found in ancient Egypt. This esteemed role held significant power, conducting sacred religious rites and rituals, making them a revered figure in society. Moreover, recent discoveries include individuals referred to as a priest and a judge, believed to have been located in Pharaoh Pepi Fern's pyramid complex. Among these remarkable findings of ancient tombs and mummies, it's evident that the ancient Egyptians had a keen appreciation for beauty. Most of the discovered sarcophagi are exquisitely decorated, 
and adorned with elaborate gilding and intricate paintings. Egypt stands out as the primary location where these well-preserved mummies, dating back thousands of years, have been found. This raises the question, why are there so many well-preserved mummies in Egypt? To understand this, we need to delve into the core belief systems of ancient Egyptian culture. The Egyptians preserved their dead in a particular manner due to their deep-rooted beliefs about the afterlife. They believed in an afterlife where the soul continues its journey after death, necessitating the preservation of the physical body. The preservation process, such as mummification, was a crucial step to ensure the soul's eternal existence. This intricate and elaborate practice reflects their reverence for the deceased and their profound belief in the continuity of life after death. The ancient Egyptians held a complex belief system regarding the afterlife, and mummification was integral to their understanding of life after death. They believed the soul, known as Ba, was immortal and embarked on a journey in the afterlife, seeking reunification with the deceased's preserved body. This reunion was essential for the soul's eternal existence and enjoyment of earned pleasures. Mummification was pivotal as it provided the Ba with a recognizable vessel in the afterlife, allowing it to interact with the material world, partake in familiar activities, and receive offerings. The intricate mummification process, taking weeks or months, involved steps to remove moisture, dry organs, and apply substances for tissue preservation. While the heart, regarded as the seat of the soul, remained, other organs were carefully stored in canopic jars. The practice of mummification wasn't solely for royalty, but became accessible across social classes, reflecting the Egyptians' deep-rooted belief in the afterlife, ensuring eternal life for everyone. Mummification symbolized not only preservation, but the Egyptians' reverence for the dead and unwavering faith in the afterlife. It was a representation of their belief system and enduring fascination with the mysteries of death and the afterlife. Ancient Egyptians had a sophisticated belief system about the afterlife, influencing their daily lives, art, architecture, and funeral practices. They viewed the afterlife as a diverse realm offering rewards and challenges. In Egyptian mythology, the soul's journey after death, guided by deities like Anubis and Thoth, involved navigating perilous landscapes, culminating in a pivotal judgment in the Hall of Truth. The heart's weighing against the feather of truth determined the soul's purity or sins. A lighter heart led to paradise in the field of reeds, where souls enjoyed earthly pleasures. Conversely, a heavier heart meant devoured by the monstrous creature Amit, signifying unworthiness for eternal life. The field of reeds was an ideal afterlife, a bountiful land depicted in tomb paintings and texts, offering eternal bliss. The soul reunited with its Ka in the afterlife, embodying the life force and ensuring existence in eternity. This belief profoundly impacted their society, inspiring moral living and intricate funeral practices. It brought comfort and understanding of life's mysteries, evident in their rich mythology, art, and architecture. For the Egyptians, preserving the dead was an intricate part of their culture, ensuring a prosperous afterlife that transcended beyond human existence. However, it's interesting to note that animals were also honored and preserved through mummification in ancient Egyptian society. The Spiritual Role of Animal Mummies in Ancient Egypt The ancient Egyptians are famous for preserving not only the bodies of their human dead, but also those of animals. They did this because of their religious beliefs and cultural practices. Firstly, many animals were important in Egyptian mythology and connected to specific gods. For instance, cats were considered sacred to Bastet, the goddess of cats, childbirth, and protection. Ibis birds were linked to Thoth, the god of wisdom, and crocodiles were associated with Sobek, the god of the Nile River and fertility. The Egyptians believed that by mummifying these animals, they honored the gods they represented and ensured their blessings. 
Secondly, they used mummified animals as offerings in temples and ceremonies. These offerings showed respect and gratitude to the gods, and were believed to act as messengers between humans and the divine realm. Mummified animals were thought to carry prayers to the gods. Additionally, pets were cherished in Egyptian society, and when they died, they were mummified to honor and remember them in the afterlife. Some animal mummies had specific meanings or were used in rituals. For instance, falcon mummies might have been linked to falconry, while crocodile mummies might have been associated with divination practices. Archaeologists found many animal mummies, including cats, crocodiles, cobras, and even lion cubs, in a burial site called Saqqara. The discovery provided insights into ancient Egyptian beliefs about the afterlife. These mummies, along with other artifacts, will be moved to museums, which has sparked controversy among some people. They believe these preserved bodies should be respected and left undisturbed. Moreover, there's a concern about the consequences of opening tombs. Ancient Egyptians believed it brought bad luck or harm because the deceased might retaliate from the afterlife. Ancient Egyptian texts mention curses for tombs. One famous example is from King Tutankhamun's tomb. It warns that those who touch the pharaoh's tomb will swiftly face death. Even though there's no scientific proof of these curses, people have believed in them for ages. This belief sticks because whenever tombs were opened, bad luck or even death seemed to follow. Like when Lord Carnarvon, who funded the excavation of Tutankhamun's tomb, died five months after it was opened. Many thought he was cursed by the spirit of Tutankhamun. Today, lots of folks still fear tomb curses. They worry that archaeologists opening new tombs might bring on the curse. It's not just ancient Egypt. Similar beliefs exist in other cultures. For example, the Chinese think that disturbing grave sites can bring trouble from the spirits of the dead to the living. But while this idea might sound frightening, we can't confirm if these curses are real. We can only hope they're not. Recently, there was a significant discovery in Saqqara, adding to the ongoing discussions. Mummies found there, along with their belongings, are well preserved. This allows them to be displayed in museums in Cairo. Unfortunately, most of these mummies' identities are unknown. Scientists are teaming up with archaeologists to learn more about them. Although these ancient mummies will now be showcased in Cairo's museums, there's still much to uncover. More information about them will gradually become public. Scientists are working hard to unravel the mysteries behind this discovery. As they conduct tests and research, we can only wait and see what the future reveals. Should ancient burial sites like the Egyptian mummy coffins be left undisturbed to respect cultural and historical significance? Share your thoughts in the comments.